Henry Owen was a radio operator during World War II. His B-29 was the lead bomber in a group attack on a chemical plant in Japan. One of his duties was launching phosphorescent smoke bombs to help assemble the bombers. Once he got the order to light the bombs, something went wrong with one of them as he dropped it down the launching chute. Instead of leaving the chute, it bounced back into the aircraft, hitting Irwin in the face. The intensely burning bomb obliterated his nose and completely blinded him. To make matters worse, smoke filled the front of the plane, obscuring the pilot's vision. Disregarding his wounds, Irwin knew they would not survive if he didn't get the bomb outside. Even though he was physically on fire, he picked up the incendiary at his feet and feeling his way instinctively through the plane toward the cockpit. His path was blocked by the navigator's table. To get around it, he had to clench the burning bomb against his body, then unlock and raise the table. Irwin then struggled through the narrow passage and stumbled forward into the cockpit. He felt around until he found a window and threw the bomb out. Subscribe for part two.